So remember last week we spoke to Cameron about a wrong number text message from his girlfriend talking about missing patio talks. And they didn't have a patio. Yeah, never have, but her ex does. And But she said it was, she was talking about her friend Hannah. Yeah. Hannah doesn't have a patio either. Right. Now, we said last week, we're like, you know what, trust your gut on this one. This really sounds kind of fishy, some red flags, especially the way his girlfriend kind of reacted to him approaching her about it. She was really fidgety and stumbling over some sort of an excuse and explanation for it. So we were all like, hey, maybe go to Hannah. Right. Ask what their favorite patio is because he wants to plan maybe a special date there or something yes. like that. Anyways, we did get an update last night. Hi, Ben and Kelly. Thank you for checking back with me. Decided to take your advice and go talk to her friend Hannah about what their favorite patio is. All right. She works as a barista. So I stopped by her work, got some coffee, told her I'm planning something special, wanted to do it someplace she likes, so I needed to know where they would talk on the patio. Oh. She looked a little confused, then asked me what I was planning on doing. I just told her something special. Okay. And she said they would sometimes hang out at Joe's Older Than Dirt. All right. Yeah, big patio there. I thanked her, but something about her answer didn't sit well with me. I really couldn't talk with her because she was busy, but I asked her quickly if she's seen her ex recently, and she said he had been in the other day to get coffee. <laughs> I thanked her and left. But I was, as I was leaving, I noticed that they have a patio where she works, and my brain started to go into overdrive. Oh. Surely they weren't meeting up for coffee and talking on this patio. Oh, gosh. Of course Hannah couldn't have been telling the truth, and they could have been having long patio chats at Joe's. Anyway, I know where her ex lives, and so I did the crazy boyfriend thing and went to his apartment complex to see if I could see his patio and try to figure things out. Okay. I didn't really have a plan, and I wasn't thinking I would actually try and talk with him, <laughs> that's, but... That's like classic guy. <laughs> when I pulled into his complex, uh, who do you think I saw driving out? My girlfriend. Oh, wow. She and I both looked at each other as we were passing, and I immediately called her. Mm. She picked up and acted like nothing was out of the ordinary. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> She said she was running errands, was on this end of town, had to pick up a necklace that was a present from her grandma that her ex had told her he recently found while cleaning. Wow. That's an elaborate story to have in the back pocket. Wow. I told her this looks suspicious with the recent text message, and now she's over at her ex's apartment complex. Well, she asked me why I was over there, and I told her I had just seen Hannah and she ratted her out. Oh, God. She, she just threw him <laughs> under the bus, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. She told me there's no way Hannah said that because it's not true. Uh-huh. Got mad at me, hung up. Mm-hmm. So I decided to let everyone calm down and not call her until the next day. When I did, she told me she couldn't be with someone who doesn't trust her and that relationships are built on trust. Oh, she broke up with me. Oh. So, yeah, I, I, I think I know what patio she was referring to, and it wasn't at Joe's. Uh-huh. Anyway, it kind of sucks because she was cool, but I'll get over it. Thanks well, again for your help. Wow. Man, he, he, was, he was totally like, you know what? Um, this is happening. I'm going to drop a bomb and everything, and I'm going to walk out. He blew everything up. <laughs> Even Hannah. Okay. Hannah. Hannah's like, what did I do? I'm just over here working. I know. I'm serving coffee. <laughs> I'm over here trying to just be at work, and you're throwing me under the bus. Oh, man. To my... Wow. I mean. For her to have an excuse, like the whole necklace thing, that's premeditated. Because that was perfectly I... spit out. I don't think at the right moment. I was going to say, I don't think that's something that what, either it was 100 percent true. Yes. And she was just literally repeating what yes, just happened. Yes, exactly. Or she had been thinking about, OK, if this blows up, this is what I'm going to say. Yes. I don't know what I believe, I though. I don't know. I, I honestly don't either. Like there is an inkling in me that thinks that she's thinks telling she the truth. Could be telling the truth. Yeah.
and that maybe oh no I, yeah then we just wrecked his relationship for no reason I I was I was kind of on Cameron's side and now I'm thinking oh maybe maybe she was maybe his girlfriend the was whole time. was actually telling the truth because you know okay why was she fidgety then okay so uh, my friend's boyfriend comes in is like hey what patio are do they like to go to and and I'm at work I'm not thinking about this. I'm thinking of trying to get these orders out and, right. and, and make coffee and all that stuff. And I'm like, what What are you talking about? Of course she's going to look confused. Yeah. And then, you know, her. she's like, well, what, what special thing? Like, she's like just trying one? to. She yeah, comes to visit me at work? Right. Like, like she's just trying to catch up in her brain. Right. And he's like, you know, what patio? And she's like, I don't know. We go to Joe's sometimes. I don't know. Like, what? Yeah. Oh, man. I thought I, I thought I knew. And now I don't. Oh, boy. Well, either way, what's done is done. <laughs> Cameron seems okay with yeah, it. Yeah, Cameron seems okay with it. And he seems to think we helped. Okay, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> yes, we did help. <laughs> I'm more confused than ever, but we you're helped. welcome. We helped. Okay. All right. I just need to be a fly on the walls uh, at these when these things go down. Yeah. That's what I want. I just want to be there just to watch it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, um, thank you, Cameron, for uh, reaching back out to us or, or for following up with us after we reached out to you We're several glad times. Glad you're okay with glad how you're it, okay it with, ended with how up. How it all ended. Yeah. There okay. By the way, we got a text from a listener. My psycho self would have been like, "Pull over. Let me see the necklace." <laughs> 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 you know what? Part of Same. me is thinking that too. Yeah. Same. Part of me is thinking that too. Yep. That is a hundred percent.